वेलकम टू इन फाइव मिनट वी विल नाउ डिस्कस द नेक्स्ट मेथड ऑफ एस एस बी जनरेशन आफ्टर डिस्कसिंग द फर्स्ट टू मेथड द नेक्स्ट मेथड इज कॉल्ड थर्ड मेथड दैट्स द नेम गिवन टू दिस मेथड बिकॉज इट्स इट्स एक्चुअली द थर्ड मेथड टू जनरेट एस एस बी एस सी सिग्नल इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड वीवर्स मेथड नेम आफ्टर द साइंटिस्ट हू इन्वेंटेड दिस मेथड लेट इज गो थ्रू द एंटायर मेथड फर्स्ट एंड देन वी विल डिस्कस द एडवांटेजेस द ड्रॉबैक्स एट द एंड बट प्लीज कीप इन माइंड दैट वी वॉन्ट टू अवॉइड टू थिंग्स we don't want to use filters to be operating at high frequencies because such filters are difficult to design why i am making this point in the beginning because if you quickly have a look at the block diagram there are filters being used but these filters will not be doing the operation of filtering at high frequencies so we want to avoid the problem of using filters at high frequency that is first thing and second i don't want to use a phase shifter block that provides phase shift to the range of frequencies i am fine using phase shifter block as long as it has to provide phase shift to the single frequency so keeping in mind these two points let's understand the block diagram of the third method you can see the input signal is the af signal which is nothing but the modulating signal let me take the modulating signal frequency as omega m so input is nothing but cos omega m t that's input to this whole system this input goes to both the balance modulator in its original form if you carefully observe this time we have got two carrier generator one is called af carrier generator other one is called rf carrier generator that means we have two carrier frequencies being used right now but ultimately my final signal must be present at single carrier frequency which is omega c i'm going to call the first carrier frequency as omega not and the second carrier frequency as omega c1 please remember that the reason it is called af carrier generator is because as af the audio frequency is always smaller compared to rf which is radio frequency omega not which is frequency of the first carrier will be very less compared to omega c1 which is a frequency of the second carrier generator none of the two frequencies is omega c but there will be a relationship between omega not omega c1 and omega c that we will bring in at the end so omega not is nothing but the first carrier that we are going to use so let me write output of the first carrier generator block as cos omega not t so to the second balance modulator the inputs are cos omega mt and cos omega not t but look at the first balance modulator the input is cos omega mt but the first carrier which is cos omega not t has to be 90 degree phase shifted so output of the 90 degree phase shifter will be cos omega not t plus 90 both the balance modulators will multiply the two signals and generate sum and the difference of the input frequencies so let's write down output of both the balance modulator output of first balance modulator will be available on point b and output of the second modulator will be available on point e in our diagram so let us now first write down output of balance modulator 1 what are the inputs to the first balance modulator the first input in the form of carrier is cos omega not t plus 90 and this is multiplied by second input which is my modulating signal cos omega mt when you multiply the two frequencies as we have just now discussed it will produce sum and the difference of the two frequencies so the first frequency which is a sum frequency will be cos of omega not plus omega mt plus 90 degree so it is a plus b we are adding all the components inside the brackets plus the second term uh, that it will generate will be a minus b that will be omega not t minus omega mt plus 90 degree will remain as it is because that's part of the first angle please remember that i am neglecting that factor of half and hence let me not also use the equality sign so these are the two components that we get at point b so output of balance modulator 1 is at point b let me now write down output of balance modulator 
output of balance monitor 2 will be available on point E. This is my point E here. It will multiply the two signals in their original form. No phase shifts. Cos omega naught T into cos omega mt. And hence it will generate the sum and difference like previously. Omega naught plus omega m plus so that's a plus b and the difference will be omega naught minus omega m t. These are the two output signals at the output of the balance modulator at point B and point E. Please remember that we have not used any filter as of now and the 90 degree phase shifter is going to provide phase shift to the single frequency omega naught which is not very difficult to design.